Thank you so much, uh, Christian. And uh, ladies and uh, gentlemen, uh, it's a pleasure to be here at the Nordic Edge Conference. And uh, it's a pleasure to be invited to the most important parallel session, how technology can improve learning. The ed tech industry is growing rapidly. Last year, private investors in, uh, invested roughly 74 billion Norwegian kroner in global education technology companies. That is an increase for 350% since 2014. For an industry that is in the starting pit, it is important to have an arena to exchange knowledge and experience where the experts on how technology, how, um, how to develop the technology can meet with educators. My ambition for the Norwegian school is really quite simple. A school where every child, regardless of social background, are given the opportunity to develop his or her talent. A school that promotes the common values underlying the Norwegian society, inclusion, diversity, democracy, and equal opportunity. A school that prepares and educates each student to become active and participate in the society. Technology can be useful to support these ambitions. Take, for example, the way teaching is organized. Many children do not get the help they need in the classroom. This applies both to students that lack behind, but also it applies to students who are in need for new and more complex challenges. Technology can make it easier to tailor the teaching to each individual student. Students can receive feedback on a continuous basis, and the teacher can quickly and easily see how each student are progressing. Technology crosses the national and cultural borders. That also offers great opportunities for teaching and education. Pupils can gain better insight into the lives and perspective of others, and more conscious understanding of the values underlying society. So yes, the digital revolution provides great opportunities for further development of our schools, but only if we use it in a smart way. There is no magic in machine. Technology is primarily useful to our schools when it is developed and applied in combination with strong educational skills. Norway is one of the most digitized countries in the world. Our citizens are connected and have a high level of digital competence. Still, we have some challenges when it comes to ICT in education. One, there is a digital gap between pupils, between teachers, and between schools. Even though most ninth graders have, have good digital skills, one out of four students lack the competence they need. In schools, the digital gap is related to access to equipment and knowledge and skills utilizing ICT for ped pedagogical purposes. We also know that too many of the teachers have efficient skills in how to utilize ICT. Secondly, there are too many digital learning re resources of inferior quality and still too much emphasis on traditional teaching and material and practice. Even though Norwegian pupils are active users of digital aids, our ambitions are higher. The digital development creates fundamental cha changes in society. Our students need to be well equipped with digital skills and, enables, uh, and that enables them to use 
and master the technology, but also enables them to form the futures as makers of technology. An obvious example is changes in working life. In industry after industry, business models are changed. Technology and digitalization will change jobs and how we organize the working process. We need to equip our students with good digital skills. Not only that they, what they need to live productive and meaningful lives tomorrow, but the skills they need to succeed in 10, 20, and even 30 years. We have started to make the changes we need to prepare students for this future. As some of you probably know, we are in the middle of a major effort to renew the subjects in the Norwegian school. The goal is to give pupils more in-depth learning and better understanding of the subjects. Coding and technology will be part of the new subjects curriculum. The government is also contributing financially to the, to the, the development of digital learning resources. We want to stimulate to a multitude of good and innovative learning resources, and they should be ready when the new subjects are introduced the autumn in 2020. Last year, we presented a new digitalization strategy for our schools, where we, among several other things, introduce coding as elective. With 90 million Norwegian kroner each year of the next five years, we will also ensure that students gain knowledge and understanding of technology, algorithmic thinking, and coding. This is through the program we call the, te the Technological School Bag. We have also started working on further education in digital literacy for teachers, and, aim, and the aim is to digitalize our teacher education. Our digital initiative rests on several pillars. We need to see infrastructure and competence in context. There is little point in investing in tablets, digital whiteboards, and uh, computers if teachers do not have the skills to utilize the equipment in the educational work. As I have already said, technology must be a tool for teaching, not the opposite. I strongly be believe that this implies that our students must get an understanding of how technology works, both to exploit the opportunities that technology provides, but also to foster a re reflexive and critical stance on how technology affects society. I have already mentioned that we are in the midst of an extensive process of renewing the subjects in the school. This will ensure a better and deeper understanding. However, we are also very concerned that our students are trained in the skills that cross individual subjects. The te technology consultant Camilla Tepfers has highlighted four competences she considered that is extra important in the digital future. Creative power, critical thinking, ability to concentrate, and social skills. I guess everyone has a mobile phone in their pocket. We all have virtual infinite access to information. However, the fact that uh, everyone has a mobile phone does not mean that all knowledge is a click away. A survey committed towards the end of the Swedish election campaign showed that one out of three articles shared among Swedish voters was so-called junk news. One out of three. There is only one antidote against this, knowledge. We need citizens who are able to distinguish between true and false, facts from fake, which has the tools to a knowledge needed to evaluate if a source is reliable or not. 
The school has a key role in developing these skills. We do not need a school that teaches everyone to Google. They can that. We need a school that trains our pupils in critical and independent teaching. Another example. Quite recently, I read about an algorithm that uh, big companies use when they are looking for new top executives. By comparing candidates with thousands of top executives worldwide, the algorithm can quickly provide the, an answer to who has the best chance to, to success. There's just one problem. Because women are underrepresented among CEOs, the algorithm regards female as a predictive factor for being unsuitable executive. As a minister in a government where, where three, the three most powerful members are women, I see everyday proof of what we all know. The algorithm is wrong. Prime Minister Anna Solberg has said something I believe to be absolutely essential. In Norway, we do not digitalize to digitalize. Our ambition is to use the technology to make Norway even better. And we will not compromise on the values that are underpinning our society. Inclusion, diversity, democracy, and equal opportunities. If we are to succeed what, uh, with the ambitions, we are completely dependent on our schools. The theme of this conference conference is collaboration and sharing. You are here to be updated and inspired, and to share knowledge and experience about digital technology and learning, both across national borders, but also across school levels and between education and business. The Smart City Initiative in Savanger is essential for us in gaining experience about how we can use the technology to solve today's challenges. I'm very pleased that Stavanger has education as one out of five priorities in, in its Smart City strategy. That makes Stavanger unique among other smart cities. I truly hope we will benefit from the works taking place here. I have spent my time today talking about what the government's efforts on digitalization and, and school. But I want to end by saying that the most important work happens on the local level, and first and foremost in the classroom. Teachers and students gather every day valuable experience on how technology can be used to make the school better. This experience must be one of the major starting points for every discussion on how the learning technology of tomorrow should look like. Thank you so much.